Hey guys, what's going on? This is Charles at Corona Geek, and today we're going to talk with Danny Chan about Google Play Game Services. He's going to take us through what it is, uh, how it's integrated with Corona SDK, and what you need to know to get started. So, uh, without further ado, let's talk with Danny. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Oh, uh, doing well, Charles. Nice seeing you again. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been a little while. We had you on. Well, when was the last time we talked? Uh, expansion files. Expansion files, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of hap- lots happened since then. Oh yeah, Corona just just keeps on chugging along. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, Google Google's come out with some announcements and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's talk about uh, let's talk today about Google Play Game Services. You want to do that? Okay, sure. Yeah, sounds right. good. Okay, for those of who, for those uh, of the of who are watching who don't know what that is, what what is Google Play Game Services? Um, it's the Google's back end for games, so it has uh, multiplayer achievements, leaderboards, and you can also save data to it. So it's a service to make it easier for uh, game developers to. Develop games. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They said they have. Uh, I saw on their website that says it has real time multiplayer game support. Is that? I mean, were you talking real time, real time, or asynchronous sort of? Um. Actually, I'm not sure. I haven't. We haven't been touching that part yet. Okay. That's something we plan to uh, put into our Corona integration sometime later on. Not. Not right now, though. So. Okay. We actually, play. That part yet. Okay, which 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 parts do we support right now? Uh, we support l- leaderboards, achievements. Uh, what was the other? Leaderboards, achievements. I will be. Give me a second and let me look at. Okay. Look at our uh, little uh, API thingy. So you're looking at the documentation for Corona right. SDK. Okay, cool. Right. And- right. And is that uh, is that part of the daily build yet? Uh, it is. It's a it's a plugin, so it's actually decoupled from the daily build. Uh-huh. So we keep on uh, updating. We can keep on updating the plugins plugin without actually having the uh, Corona user update their uh, daily build. So you don't have to actually update your daily build. You just need to put in this specific setting into your build.settings file to use it. So, yeah, you don't really need to Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, excellent. So if there's a daily build that somebody wants to stick with for some reason, and, right. and, and they're on a version that actually uses plugins, <laughs> they, right, right, right. They'd, they'd be able to get the updates for Google Play or any of the plugins without having to actually update the, the daily build. Exactly, exactly. Sweet. So it's easier for the Corona users in that sense. Yeah. Do you know what uh, what platforms does the Google Google Play game services uh, support? Uh, they have it for um, Android, iOS, and you can do some uh, REST calls. Uh-huh. Or, so right now we Corona uh, Corona supports Android right now, and we do plan on uh, adding support for iOS sometime soon. Okay. No timeline for that. Okay, gotcha. So how does yeah. how does Chrome SDK integrate with 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 that? Then it's it's just through the plugin, and then what do developers yeah, so need? So through the plugin, and then the uh, calls to it are basically what we we've tried to make it very similar to uh, what we already have for um, game in in the game network API. Uh-huh. So there's a, a request, an init, and a show. And then within those, you have the exact, or pretty much the exact same call uh, parameter calls for each one of those functions. So you can really easily just switch between the Android one, uh, this uh, Google Play Game Services one, and the iOS Game Center one. So it's really, you can just say, oh, if iOS, then actually you might not even need to do if iOS. You can just call the same thing. So, 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 what you're saying then is, if you even, even though Google Play supports uh, iOS and, and Corona will eventually as well, if you mm-hmm. wanted to stick with 
Apple's um, Game Center, you you could use right. still use both of them in the same app. Right. Right. Yeah. You. Yeah. You can. It's. Re- yeah. It's very very similar. I, I think. Okay. I'm, I'm probably biased because I did it, but I think it's very similar. That was one <laughs> of the goals when we when we did it. So uh, was that we wanted to make it easy for people to. Uh, have it for both platform or use it, and then not have to change anything for the Apple side. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh, so, what it, what do developers need to do to to integrate it into their apps today? I mean, um, if, they, if they have the latest the latest build, what do they need to do? So they have to go to their uh, Google Developer Council, and then you have to start a new uh, game. Let's see, game service, I think, or uh, game so, service. Okay. So there's a little tab on the left hand side with a little game controller, and then from there you add a new game, and then you set all your achievements up and your leaderboards up, and then they have a little <clears throat> number at the at the top next to the game name or name, and then you actually put that into your build. The, uh, Build dot settings file. Uh, so you have that number in the build dot settings. You have the plugin setting for in your build dot settings file, and then that's pretty much it. So you would say uh, require game network, and then init with Google, and then that's it. Okay. So it's, yeah, the rest the rest is documented in the API, huh? Yeah, all all of it's documented in the API. Okay, okay. So, yeah. that, so that so there's a little bit of setup on the Google Play side, right? And then right, you have to get some numbers from them. Okay, and then there's the normal configuration on the Corona side, and then it's right. just required like a normal uh, library would be, and then used right according to the API. Just, just like the uh, just like Game Network. Okay, okay, good deal. So you went to Google I/O this year. What was it like? <clears throat> Oh yeah, it was very interesting. They had all those announcements and uh, got to watch some people play with uh, Corona-based games or a game, Corona-based game, yeah. a Corona-based game. Yeah, chip chip uh, chain, football. chip chain right. demoed, right? Yeah, they had chip chain on <clears throat> one of their devices at Google I/O, and uh, I saw some people playing with that. Uh, so that was a very interesting. Just yeah. watch people enjoy Corona-based games. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So the demo went well then. Yeah, um, I, I think so. People were smiling and everything. <laughs> Everybody was excited. So, oh. so was it kind of a like a? I would imagine Google I/O would be just this big nerd fest. Is it? Is it like <laughs> kind of like that? Uh, I don't want to call myself a nerd, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> it's, it's it's chic to be geek, but I don't know if nerd's still in style, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just think it would be a lot of fun. I don't know. Was there uh, yeah. was there a lot of uh, what you call like Android ca- characters running around? Uh, on the outside, they had this big giant guy in a green Android suit just doing his thing, and then he put his hand out. I don't think he wanted me to high five him, but I did it anyways. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, uh, so how do you think that the, these, the the game services will affect Google's overall mobile strategy? Um, well, I think that they're it's good that they're finally putting an emphasis on some on games because that's a large part of their marketplace. Uh, they have, I think, a section for it, and I mean, this pushes Apple as well to update their game center, which I don't think has. Many up has had many updates in some time, I think. So that that'll be interesting to watch. Yeah, I was really surprised to see that they were going to support uh, iOS. You know, that's a right. it's, it's, it's a big distinction between uh, Apple's approach and Google's approach. Right, right. Making this cross-platform, I think you can. Yeah, making this cross-platform, and then you can do some something in the browser because you can have some REST calls to it too. So it's really cross-platform and really interesting to see what they have planned uh, for this thing. 